Hey guys, it's Joe Talentino from I Know Jackson. Today we're down at the Home and Patio Show at the Prime Osborne Center at the cooking demo stage. And guess what we're going to be doing? Cooking. Cooking. <laughs> Crazy, right? I got Celestia Mobley here from Jazzy's as well as Celestia's Coastal, Coastal Cuisine. cuisine. Yeah. See, I always, that one's the one that gets me tripped it up. Just say Celestia's. Yeah, Celestia's. Uh, the world famous Celestia. Oh. Okay, I'll take that. No, it's, it's <laughs> right. You'll take that. It's the World Wide Web. We're putting you out there. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you, for real, I have friends in Sweden. They're watching right now. Aww. Say hi. Hey, hey. Saren. Who are they? Oh, oh, I thought you were talking to like the people in the. No, office. no, in I'm the like, camera. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. I never even noticed the camera. Hi, she Sweden. <laughs> You didn't notice the camera? No, I thought it. I thought that was the camera. That was a, right there. There's one too. Yeah, yeah, we got too. cameras there too. We got. Oh, well, they're all over the place. Hi. Yeah. How about yeah, that? Hi. So what are we making today? Hi. We're making Cajun. It's getting hot. It's getting a Cajun hot. seafood rice. Okay. With real crab meat and shrimp. Crab meat and mm -hmm. shrimp. I like it. And this is something we have at Jazzy's restaurant. Okay. Okay. And Jazzy's on King Street. It's a new restaurant been open five six months cool and yeah. it was where blind rabbit and hamburger mary's, hamburger mary's was. were there right across from gutty works kickbacks kickbacks gutty works is downstairs oh <laughs> yeah they do have a nice little area yeah, down that's there. my favorite part like a hidden gym <laughs> it, it is a hidden gym if you're into craft beer they the have largest in the world they have a huge supply of craft beer there uh, downstairs yep. in the gutty works. <laughs> That's what <Yeah>. it's called. <laughs> okay. I know these things. Okay. <laughs> so I know Jax. This, is, uh, this is on the menu. What else do you guys do? You, uh, you have live music all the time, which yep, is cool. Yeah, pretty much every night. Um, Wednesday night, we have karaoke. Thursday night, live music. So Friday stay night, away on Wednesday. Night, I'm not be, I'm, I won't be there on Wednesday. <laughs> but we'll, we'll be good. Again. And then Sunday, um, we have we close at five, so we don't have it Sunday night. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. But we do special events every now and then on Sunday nights and Monday nights when we are closed. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. So if we want to if we want to rent the whole joint, we can do it on a Monday or sure. Sunday. Sure. Price is right. <laughs> <laughs> she goes. That's my day off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's see how we do this. Okay, we're gonna start off with my favorite thing in the world. Butter. 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 I like you that you buy it the right way too, not in those little bitty sticks. Yeah, in the restaurant, you know, you have to buy the big. You go through so much of it. Yeah, you use a little bit. Yeah, that's just a little bit. <laughs> and we'll we'll probably use this whole thing by the time. No. <laughs> by today. Yeah. So next, we're gonna have some shrimp, which I'm gonna have to kind of. Oh, you could put some ice cubes in there. I yeah, see what you keep, did. Yeah, you know you. Yeah, yeah, no, Make sure they're safe. I think safe. We, we appreciate the fact that you're keeping them fresh. <laughs> and safe, yes. Yeah. Okay, and you know yep. shrimp don't take long to cook at all. Which is a good thing, right? Yep. This demo will probably last a, every bit of five minutes. So we're going to season it with Old Bay. That gives so us this isn't something you mix up at home? At home? <laughs> I don't cook at home. <laughs> I don't cook at home. <laughs> And I'm going to use some granulated garlic. You can okay. always use fresh garlic, but granulated garlic is very, very good. And when I say granulated garlic, it's a little thicker than the powdered garlic. Okay. A little thick granular. And we're going to use just a tiny bit of cayenne. You can go a little bit. Yeah, just a tiny bit. I like bit. the kick. Yeah, that's a little bit. Okay, and we're going to let that cook down some. They don't take long, do nope. they? I love the smell of Obey seasoning. Yeah, and once these cook, basically they, you know, shrimp, they kind of curl up a little bit and they turn translucent. They turn like a little pink, pink color. So yeah. you, they have a built-in thermometer, so you know <laughs> they're ready. That's the way to look at it, yeah. Yep. 
So next week we kick off our lunch specials at Jazzy's. So we have really good business. If you've never been there, I suggest not to come on Friday or Saturday night because it's swamped. To come <laughs> during the week um, and during the daytime. So cool. we, we're kicking off a new lunch menu where we'll have our own version of Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> and we'll also, we a better also, version, yeah, I will mean, we'll definitely We're know. also doing a um, crab cake sandwich. Ooh. And we're doing a pork chop, but you have to say sandwich. Sandwich, I can yeah. do that. Not sandwich, but sandwich. No, I mean, yeah. I'm from the South. I can say sandwich <laughs> all day long. So once these are done, which they are, and you see that literally took a few seconds. So I guess I could cook this at home, huh? I mean, yeah, it's probably, <laughs> probably faster than calling DoorDash. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Smells good. So, are you guys doing any po' boys or anything like that for your? Well, the um, lunch? The, no, but we are doing the crab cake, and and that's gonna have like a rumelade sauce oh, on it. Oh, yeah. And that's one of our biggest sellers. Of the course. pink sauce. It's yeah. not rumelade. Yeah, the it's pink, the pink sauce. sauce. <laughs> People call it everything but rumelade. I know. I've, I've yeah. been there when it's been called that. <laughs> I, was, I, I was like, what is she talking about? Pink sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this shrimp water, just a little bit. Hydrate. Yeah, because this is going to kind of be the sauce or to like go on roux. the rice. Yeah, and I don't want it. And then while I was doing it, I should have been cutting this up, but it won't take me. But you could have me do something, but I don't mind that you do all the work. I'll just stand here and look pretty. Most of or the times, <laughs> most things that I cook is, has red and green bell peppers. I use it in just about everything. Are you sure you're not Italian? Um, Cajun, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw some, you got garlic, all you're missing is the onion. Oh yeah, I use a lot of onion too. But not in this, in the rice. Only so, and I'm an Italian who grew up in Georgia, so I use, <laughs> I use Vidalia onions, yes. which everybody laughs at, but it's true, I do, I love yeah. those. And I can eat them like an apple. They're so sweet. Yeah, they're really Put good. Put them on the grill with some mm -hmm. butter, mm -hmm. yeah. I can literally eat them raw like an apple. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna add that. that, that Nothing cook. weird about that. Nothing weird at all. And if you all, I don't know if you can see, but like cutting up pepper is really simple. Yeah, there's a camera right above us here. I so usually take off the bottom part and that way I can see where the seeds are and then I just go down the side. Everybody kind of has their own take. Yeah. But to me, this works good for me. So I do mine other other way. I stab it in at the top. Yep. And, and core it out as you go and then so pull it out and it's all gone. Yeah, you have that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You go cross the. No, no. I, I literally stab it down from the top. Oh. If you okay. hold it up at the top. Okay. Okay. I usually, and I don't use a big old knife like that. My wife won't let me have a knife that big. I'm dangerous. Yeah. As long as you do the claw. Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. You won't get yourself. But if you do like that, ah. So claw. No, you know, you yeah, you don't want to hold it in your hand and do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That might be a bad thing. And you thing. let your knife roll, and it rolls, and it, it gets it it gets it gets done. And it gets it done quickly. The cool thing is you can plant those. Oh, really? They'll grow. Yeah, the, sure. The simple part. What will they make? <laughs> Puppies. <laughs> 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 so we have our peppers. I hope you guys aren't too hungry, because this is all we have. And then we're going to add... Even though it's Cajun, I like the taste the taste of soy sauce in my rice. So okay, it kind of yeah, yeah. almost is like a fried rice, but it's a Cajun seafood rice. So just a that little That gives bit. a little salt to it, it as well. Yep. Yeah. Because if you notice, the only thing really is the Old Bay that has salt in it, which Old Bay can be pretty salty, salty itself. Yeah. And you know, soy sauce is very salty. And that has cooked down a little bit. And we're just going to add the crab meat. Just to, It's already done. You know, it's, You'd already pulled it. Yeah. What kind of crab? This is a claw crab meat, and it's a premium brand. It doesn't have the shells like a lot of them. You get a lot of the shells. You don't have to pick through. Yeah, I always and, get that piece. And this is the brand that I always that get. That one piece, right? Yeah. You always are the one that I, gets. I, yeah. I was saying earlier, I'm, I, I always get the bay leaf in the soup. <laughs> I don't know why. I always get the shells. <laughs> I'm just lucky that way. Yeah, and I, I, it's funny because at the restaurant, I had a lady tell me, um, she sent a crab cake bite because she said there was a bone in it. I'm like, 
No, that's the shell. She was like, I've eaten all over the world and I've never had a shell in my crab cake. I said, yes, ma'am, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm like, well, no, it's real no, crab no. meat. You can try your best to get them all out. And we pick, we sure. generally pick through these. I, it's impossible to get it all all. But we found it take more time to come up with like one little shell. So that's why yeah. I say these are, this brand is really, it's a premium brand and it's really good. Even when you do it all yourself, it's... And I should have a bowl, but I don't. So I'm just going to like put the rice in here and mix it all in and make a mess in here. What, what you need is a smaller pan. A, so. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I was going to do it and plate it on here, not thinking about, okay, I need a bowl to mix it in. So we're just going to gently mix. See, I got her all confounded by talking too, too soon. That's okay. We have bowls back here. A big one? Uh, no. Is that big enough? No, don't worry about it. I'll get it. I'm on because I'm just gonna. I'm trying to help. Because this is actually the demo, the one that I already have some already made up. So they'll probably just. So eat that's this my anybody. plate. Yeah, you can have this. And you can always taste and adjust. You can add more. Obey if you like, or if you want more soy sauce, or if you want more cayenne. I would go for the heat. Yeah, if you want more cayenne. For sure. So since this is yours, we're going to add more heat. <laughs> that help, no? <laughs> is it clean? Yeah, yeah. she just, our, our magician's off stage. Actually, Thank it's you. Annette. It's Annette. Annette, yeah. Annette from Worst Busters, who's coming up next. Oh, okay. She's helping us out. That's so sweet of her. I say uh, us. That's Southern hospitality. Yeah, the Germans are known for that. Oh, she's German? She's German, yeah. <laughs> People from well, Southern, Southern Germany, you know, I don't know that, that People area. People from Georgia are known for that, too. We, we're known for a lot of things. Yeah, okay. Some of them good. So... <laughs> That, um, that's um, pretty much. Yeah, oh, I was, I was, I was, I was, I'm just going to look like I was put it on this plate just to make it look pretty and presentable. Then. I figured that's what you were doing, just mixing it all. Yeah. So you see how simple that was? Literally five minutes. Was it even five minutes? And it's so tasty. And so what we do, we get fresh salmon in. Um, we take and sear off a of salmon. We get it every Friday. And we put that... Oh, I thought she was going to sit it on that. Yeah, no, I, no, I was going to see if you wanted to plate it. Okay. So we can show the folks at home. We sit it on top of, we sit it underneath salmon or sometimes I'll make a stuff, some type of stuffed fish and sit this on top of. Ooh. But every Friday we get like fresh fish in. So this is a weekend dish. So if you come in like today, we wouldn't have had it. But, but we will have it on Friday, Saturday and most Sundays. Well, I like at Coastal, coastal Cuisine, you do the whole fish. You do that down at Jazzy's as well? We were, but it wasn't selling that great. So, really? Yeah. So we stopped. Awesome. We just whole have, fish. We tell them they have to go to Celestia's to get <laughs> you it. Make, you send them on the road. A few people that want it, yeah. There was a, the kitchen there was, it's more was set up for a bar. Yeah. So the kitchen there is very small. So I had to kind of limit my menu in order for us to get the food out quicker. Yeah. So like some of the boils and different things that I was doing, yeah, I took out. I took off the menu. <laughs> and then some things, because people fuss so much, I'm adding back to the menu. So <laughs> it's like, but we've only been open five or six months. So it's one of those. Hey, it, it wouldn't things. matter if it was five years. You're always going to be changing things. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm going to show, show this to the folks at home and then we'll sign off and then we'll get you guys your samples. I think because I know good. that's what everybody's sitting here waiting for. So, let me taste, make sure. Well, you taste. Quality control. Oh, mm. that cayenne, all right? It had a little. Mm, 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 mm. That's mm, good. Mm, mm. Mm. So, what do you think? Good, good? I like <clears> it. <throat> no, I, you don't like that. I love everything you've cooked me so far. Haven't had a bad meal. That's no joke. Good. So, I'm going to do this. Uh, we got Annette from Worst Busters coming up next. So, tune in at 4 30 i think that's right 4 30 and uh we'll see you then if you can't be there then go to inojacks.com and sign up for the newsletter the insider and we'll be sending links out to everything we, got, we need to get you signed up so you can we can do a giveaway for you uh, oh 
for sure. one of your restaurants. Okay. Get it in the newsletter, folks. See, it's, we make sure that you have a reason to be on our newsletter list. And then don't forget to watch I Know Jacks on CW17 Sunday nights at 6.30. Sound good? Yep. All right. Let's eat, guys. All right. Thank you. Come see me. Also, I have a cookbook. You can go to Amazon.com. Oh, yeah. Southern Goodness. It's the it name of the It should be called Southern Greatness. I'm just saying. 